Hi, I'm Arjun from Wizards.exe, and this is our third update for our Robot in One Day Challenge, and evidently it's been a little bit more than one day, just due to the fact that we didn't have time after the one day until today. And so, here's our final Robot in One Day um, robot, and the main difference that you're going to see is that um, we ha we've added a little claw here, an arm, and this is in order to pick up the stones. But so the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is how we determine the sky stone. So originally we had a color sensor, V2, you can see that right here, and a rev 2 meter distance sensor. So we did a little bit of testing and found that it, it was possible to determine which one was the sky stone just from detecting the black on the color distance sensor. And we added the 2 meter distance sensor just to ensure that we're the correct distance away from the stones. But we, were, we found that we weren't able to actually um, do it consistently enough through our robot. Most likely just because we, weren't, we didn't have the time to actually fine tune the numbers. So we switched over to the webcam. And we added that here. It had to move slightly off center due to the fact that we added the arm right there. And we use Euphoria in order to determine which one is the Sky Stone. So our robot currently comes and after it does the foundation, it comes to a position right around here and scans um, these three blocks to determine which one is a Sky Stone. It then goes up and lowers this claw, which is able to pinch between the two nubs on the two indents or yeah, the two indents on the stone, and then we added the screw on the end so it can't slide out. So you can see it's able to do that. Our robot then just turns, it goes forward, releases the stone, and then parks over the line for this. We do have some extra time, so we do know that we would be able to program an extra stone if we had wanted to. So, um, if you want to learn how to use our Vuforia, um, you should take a look. We're going to be releasing another video on our Odomit or our vision spellbook once we figure determine which is the best way for first tech challenge teams to actually use vision. So take a look at our vision spellbook and keep, stay keep updated. And also we use odometry on this robot, which makes our autonomous so much more consistent. So take a look at our odometry spellbook. We're going to be having another video um, uploaded in the next few days on how to mount the odometers to the Gogolda Strafer kit. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and email wizards.exe at gmail.com or comment with any questions. Thank you.